The Samsung Galaxy Tab's range might not be quite as dominant as its Galaxy S smartphone stablemate, but if you're looking for a premium Android tablet that isn't an iPad, it's an excellent option. New reports indicate that you might want to hold off buying the current iteration though as an updated version could be arriving soon. In today's video, I am going to tell everything so far about the upcoming Tab S9 lineup. According to OnLeaks, the Galaxy Tab S9 series will look very similar to preceding generations. Thin, sleek, and metallic, with the usual S Pen magnetic strip and two rear cameras. What's different? For starters, you may notice that Samsung imported the signature Galaxy S23 look by replacing the Tab S8's single elevated camera module with dual naked sensors. And on the front side, the Galaxy Tab S9 apparently has a secondary sensor that activates in landscape mode, potentially a secondary selfie camera meant for video calls. The other physical detail we think we know is that the Tab S9 series as a whole will include at least an IP67 rating, meaning the tablets should be safe from dust and survive immersion in water up to a depth of 1 meter for 30 minutes. ICE thinks the Ultra may have the even tougher IP68 certification. Even Apple hasn't committed to an IP rating for any of its iPad models, so this could be a bit of a coup for Samsung if true. Now, as for internal specs, it's been widely agreed that all three core models in the Tab S9 range will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy. That's the customized version of the flagship chipset that appeared in the Galaxy S23 series with some very slight overclocking compared to the regular edition. We've now seen evidence of that in Geekbench listings for all three models featuring the overclock 8 Gen 2, paired with 8 to 12 gigs of RAM. Ice Universe reported that the Ultra model could come with up to 16 gigs RAM and another tweet points towards three Ultra options, 8 plus 128, 12 plus 256, and 16 plus 512 gigs storage. Thanks to ICE, we have a few more specs for the Ultra, but they basically all match last year's model. A 14.6-inch 2960 by 1848 display, 11,200 mm battery, and 45 watts charging. They'll be 10 gram heavier than last year, at 737 gram, but otherwise sounds very similar. The regular model should at least get a slightly larger battery, with Galaxy Club reporting it will use a cell with a rated capacity of 8160, which is 400 MA more than its predecessor. Finally, and perhaps less excitingly, the updated S Pen stylus has passed FCC certification. The listing doesn't reveal any updates to the stylus hardware, but does add to the sense that the tablet's launch can't be too far off. All of the leaked new features, water resistance, Tab S9 OLED display, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip, are exactly what we'd want in Samsung's new tablet. If we wanted to get really greedy, we'd ask for Wi-Fi 7 future-proofing, Bluetooth 5.3 support, and a wider DCI-P3 color gamut for the best possible accuracy for creative work. And we'd love it if the Tab S9 Ultra started at 12 gigs, the same way most flagship phones get extra RAM by default. So. What are your expectations from upcoming tablet from Samsung? Let us know it down below in the comment section. And if you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel will be massive, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you for the next time. Peace out.